Good morning everybody. This week has been a little bit of a washout. I'm not gonna lie. Had a very, very heavy weekend and it completely set me back. I think we've all done it. We've all gone a little bit too hard on the weekend and uh, it's just like written off the whole week. I was like angry at myself at the start of the week because I wasn't very productive. So yesterday I literally just spent the whole day organizing the house, getting on top of everything, admin the lot. So I feel like I'm in a good place now where I've sorted my foundation out and I'm gonna start being productive. This morning we're gonna head to Greg and uh, get my hair cut. And uh, I think in this vlog, I'm gonna ask everybody because I was thinking yesterday, what's the most valuable thing in your life? And that is a question that I'm gonna go around and I'm gonna ask everyone that I bump into today or see today. Uh, we're going to London later. So hopefully we'll come across a few faces. I'm not gonna ask strangers in the street. It's gonna be people that I'm actually linking up with. What's the most valuable thing to you? Is it family, is it time? I'm expecting a few people to say things like their car. <laughs> That's something that I'm gonna be asking people today because I just feel interested in that. So we're gonna head to hairdressers now and then we're gonna come back and then I might have a few bits that I wanna show you guys that are like recent pickups and then I need to get ready and then hopefully head down to London because a um, couple of events going on tonight. If I make it, it is the Regent Street Christmas light switch on and Tommy Hilfiger have invited me down to the store because they're literally on the streets. So it'd be perfect just to watch them from their calf that they have on their uh, top floor. So we'll see how we get on and then if all goes well, we'll head to the uh, D&G uh, store event as well after so plenty to do and then this evening I need to start packing because tomorrow Lydia and I head to Scotland which I'm so excited about I never thought I'd be this excited about going to Scotland at this time of year but we're going to Glen Eagle and there's a great bunch of people going anyway I'm gonna stop rambling on because I am running late and I'm gonna head to the hairdressers let's do this right so I'm gonna ask Greg the question the question today is Greg what is the most valuable thing to you in your life my children. Oh, we went in there with the children. We like that one. It's nice, smooth. back from the barbers and I absolutely love going to see that boy every single time it leaves me with the fresh fade the fresh cut it makes me feel good I don't know about you but fresh haircuts are the one anyway stopped off at home quickly because I wanted to show you a couple of new pickups that I think you might like and then we're gonna head down to London for the evening so the first thing I wanted to show you was my new d g phone case I actually got this when I went into Harrods to their Italian Christmas event. And uh, yeah, I just love these. I think they're really cool. I know they're still available in store, most probably available online, but yeah, these phone cases, gonna be my uh, Christmas phone case. I love that they've got the Union Jack on it as well. So yeah, Dolce think about the phone cases. As always, I'll leave like product links to all of this below. Next up, very, very happy about this. I've got the uh, Dolce & Gabbana, the one fragrance. This arrived in the post the other day, made me very happy because it's one of my all time favorites. It's kind of like one of those classic fragrances that I always go back to and uh, I can always trust. Currently wearing it today. So that was a new pickup just to refresh the fragrance wardrobe. And then last week I went into London and I headed to Covent Garden and there's a place called Henrietta Street. And basically it's like the mecca of menswear. There's loads of really cool menswear stores. And I popped into Oliver Sweeney and they absolutely spoiled me. Um, I picked a couple of pair of shoes out. One of them were these Oxblood. I kind of think they're like brogue boots and they're absolutely stunning. I've been wearing them in. Uh, they're very stiff and tight when you first get them, but you can see I've been wearing them in now and uh, they're just getting more and more comfortable. And I absolutely love these. These are probably gonna be like my autumn winter favorites, I think. Very happy with them. And then secondly, you know I like my timeless pieces. Um, I went for some plain white kicks. But the reason why I love these so much is because they've just got like the little details. I don't know if you can see there, it says Oliver Sweeney on the sole. It's got this really nice stitching around the edge and uh, laces on top. A nice brown inner sole. So, um, loving these as well. I was very spoiled when I went to see the guys Oliver Sweeney. And yeah, one last thing. I actually got this jacket um, about a month ago. I headed in to see the guys over at Diesel and they let me select a few pieces. So I've been very spoiled recently, but I'm gonna quickly show you this jacket, which that I selected, and it's a reverse shirling jacket. Some of you might have seen it on Instagram. It just feels amazing inside. It's so warm, it's so soft. Absolutely love it. It's got really nice zip detailing, loads of pockets. I'm gonna get a lot of wear of this this winter. So they were like a couple of my latest pickups that I wanted to show you, and uh, 
as always, I'm running late. So I'm gonna jump on the train, head down to London and get busy. Reese is over here. I said we finished off shooting, we actually haven't. I'm actually going to shoot some more because it's so nice here in uh, Bokan. Anyway, I have a question to ask these guys, which you guys know what it is. So I'm going to take the camera and I'm going to spin it onto Drew. And she doesn't know it's coming. So Drew, it's a very easy question. You just got to tell me what is the most valuable thing to you in life. My family. Wowza. Would, you've got to answer that question. Same question. Reese has got longer to think about it. And alcohol seems really inappropriate. I'm telling you, that's a good answer. Time is valuable, bro. I'm not a philosopher. Uh, uh, what am I going to go with? What am I going to go with? We'll go with, like, if Drew's going to say family, I'll say friends. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, it can't be family and friends, it has to be being happy in your work. I thought you were going to say girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> Now I've just wasted 10 minutes of everybody's valuable time. We're going to carry on working and uh, yeah, I'll check it in a bit. We're just leaving the Novotel now and I'm going to be heading off to Regent Street because it is the Christmas tree light switch on. These two right here are very, 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 very jealous. Aren't so you guys? Jealous. So, so jealous. Because I get to switch them on. No, I don't really. Um, I am going to be heading to the Tommy Hilfiger store to watch them get switched on, drinking mulled wine, and I think that's a lot better. So uh, yeah, gonna head over there now, drink mulled wine, pop into D&G, raise a glass of champagne, head home, wash. So we've just walked in to the train station, Cape Wharf. I have to say this is probably my most favorite nighttime spot in London. Hands down. It's like a massive Christmas tree out here. Out here in the wilderness. What do you think, Drew? It's a little bit cold, it's like Christmas. And that's the big light. What do you think, James? I hate to be in my videos. You look lovely with the lights behind you.
Okay, so I made it a little bit late. I missed the switch onto the lights in store at Tommy Hilfiger, but I was outside and I did see him going, which is nice. I met Rosie from Tommy Hilfiger and she said, go and take a look around Tommy Hilfiger jeans, pick out something you like. So we're going shopping, happy days. I've got to decide what I want to get. Let's do this. So first up, I'm loving the reds with Tommy. And this has got faux fur collar and it's gonna be super warm. And as I said earlier in my video, I'm gonna be into Scotland. So that is gonna be a good shout. And then also the puffer, that's also a very good shout. And I love the detailing inside. It's got the Tommy detailing in the inline of the pocket. So that is another potential. And then the other thing that's catching my attention is this navy jumper. And it's got heel figure across the top. And it's got Tommy across the arms. I like that a lot. So I'm going to try some bits on and then uh, we'll take a look and see which I prefer. Right, so we just got into the changing rooms and I don't know if I showed you this lot last time, but basically when you walk through the doors here, it registers everything you bring in. And if you look down the side on the screen, these are the items that I brought into the changing rooms. And then you can like click on the item and then it will bring it up and then you can select the different colorways in that item as well. So you can take a look at the same item in different colors. Super, super clever. and. Uh, makes life a lot easier. This is the first coat and this is just gonna be absolutely perfect for Scotland. I think this is almost already one and I've not even tried the others on. But I love the fur hood on it. It's so warm. I think I might need a size up. It's a little bit short on the length here and the, uh, the arms are a little bit tight but one size up, I think we've got ourselves a winner. The puffer jacket, again in the red, I love the red. That Tommy do it so like vibrant and loud. This is gonna be. This is probably gonna be warmer than that. Maybe not. I don't know. But uh, yeah, again, I really really like this. So this is the um, Tommy Hilfiger wrapped jumper. It's probably not called wrapped, but I feel like that's what it should be called. I really really like this. Again, we've got a lot of winning items today. I can envision wearing this like on a day to day basis. Super comfortable, simple, effective, and I always love navy clothes. It's always like easy to style them up with different things because obviously it's a neutral color. So this is a safe bet color wise, but I still think I like the coat the most. So, gonna go for this little number. Nice little uh, top. I'm not sure if it's uh, winter appropriate, but- uh... Where's it from? I mean, isn't it quite obvious? It's like... <laughs> Tommy darling, Tommy Hilfiger. <laughs> Tommy darling. <laughs> Tommy darling. Oh yes, yeah, that's, that's yeah. nice. Where's that from? Uh, I don't know. It does kind of say on the front there, uh, Tommy Hilfiger. It's Hilfiger. nice. <laughs> Tommy yeah, jeans, yeah. darling. Oh, Good times. For? I'm gonna go for this oh, with the fur. Nice. With the fur. That's very you. With that's the fox very fur. You. The Thank fox you. fur, yeah. What do you want? <laughs> the fox fur. <laughs> Good job, girls. Oh yeah. Good job. Good job. So first mold wine of the year, 2017 Tommy Hilfiger. Let's go. Cheers, cheers, cheers. This is no latte in here. All right, see you later, guys. Bye, 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 bye. Right, these are the Regent Street Christmas lights. It was a little bit manic earlier when I came out here because uh, there was a concert thing going on, which they're just packing away at the minute. So um, yeah, I didn't manage to get in store to watch them, but. I did go and select some nice pieces, which I'm very excited about, and I'm now going to head over to Dolce & Cabana for a quick glass of champagne and to say hello to Kiara. Okay, so I found the trainers. This could be very dangerous. Dingy's kick game at the minute is very, very strong. Right, so I've just got back from London and I have Lydia and Lumi with me and I've just been showing Lydia the new pieces that I got at Tommy Hilfiger and they also gave me, which I didn't show you in the shop, is a blanket and then if you can see on here, it says Tommy Hilfiger and it's this really nice, check, check would you call it babe? Tartan or check, I don't Tartan know. Tartan or check, I don't know, you tell me. And they also do personalization in store, so if you were to go in store at Regent Street to the Tommy Hilfiger store, you'll see <laughs> Um, upstairs they have like this section where you can do personalise or customisation on your clothing. They very kindly customised my blanket for me, as you can see here, it says Ali, 
And I just think it's a really nice touch actually. I had it on a t-shirt, I had AG put on the bottom corner of a t-shirt. It's really discreet, so it wasn't like too much in your face or like overpowering of the brand stuff. But it's just a nice little touch and I think it makes a very good Christmas gift. Just like getting some of the t-shirt, sticking their initials on it. Just something subtle, something classy. So that was very, very sweet of them to give me that. And uh, we are heading to Scotland, as I keep on telling you guys, tomorrow. So I'm gonna pack. Lydia, you packed? Mm. Lydia hasn't even unpacked from last night's trip to um, the Berkeley with Elizabeth Arden, have you? No. I knew she hadn't. Unbelievable. 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 So I am gonna do that. Um, so tomorrow we're ready to shoot off. And I'm gonna take my Tommy Hilfiger jacket with me. And um, yeah, it should be a lovely weekend. Oh yeah, and before I forget, because I know in the last video, Lumi had a little accident in um, Norfolk. Yeah, it was in Norfolk, God. It was only like the other week and I'm forgetting already. And I just wanted to say that she's made a very good recovery. The scabs fell off of her face. And, on me. Yeah, on Lydia while she was sleeping. And uh, so it's just left her with basically a ball patch and then where the actual wire hit her face, there's like a slight cut, but it's obviously not open. It's also kind of scabbing over in itself. So I think that that'll probably scab and then that'll fall off. And then she's sort of like, just got to grow her hair back basically. So she's walking over now, so take a look. Can you stay still, cat? There she is. So yeah, that's her um, scab at the moment. It's like just the scab. Are you itching? You cleaning it? <laughs> Bless her. Lumi is on the mend. I've got myself a lovely new jacket and I had a nice day in London to finish off my Thursday. Back home with Lydia, so we're gonna cuddle up on a sofa. I'm gonna force her to watch Blue Planet 3 because I absolutely love Blue Planet. I don't know about you guys, but the videography in Blue Planet is just insane. I'm obsessed with animals and David Attenborough. So for me, it's a win-win-win. What's your thoughts on it, babe? I really like being able to pin on Pinterest whilst you're watching it. She doesn't get it. She just does not get it. <laughs> As an animal lover like you are, I'm shocked. But I don't like the horrible scenes in it when that something gets killed. Okay, fair enough. I'm gonna go upstairs, I'm gonna get packed, ready for Scotland tomorrow, well as much as I can, and then I'm gonna come downstairs, chill on the sofa with Lydia, and watch Blue Planet. And I'm one happy boy. Feels like I've made a lot of progress today and picked up from a slow start to the week. So thank you for watching. That wraps up this video and I'll be seeing you tomorrow when we head to Scotland. Peace.